Hi students, again and again trigonometry questions. A lot of trigonometry questions. Okay, so these are the these are the one of the K but trigonometry questions. Okay, now look at this question class. Actually, this question got three sub questions A, B, C. So I'm going to solve one by one for you, one by one. Okay, this is your first one. Okay, if A, B, and C are the are the angles of a tri triangles. A, B, and C are the angles of a triangle. Prove that following. We're going to prove this, okay? So first, I'm going to show you what is triangle first, right? Okay, this is your triangle. So confirm, I think everybody should know, right? Triangle must have three angles. And I'm just going to label for you the angle. Okay, I, I, I take this one as a A. This is B. And this is C. Okay. Now, can you look at the C here? I'm going to start with the C. Okay, how to get C? C is 180 minus A minus B, right? Plus, so I'm going to do like this, 180. Can I factorize negative? I will have A plus B inside the bracket. Got it? Okay, keep that one first. Now, we go for the question class. This is your question. Okay, so this is your left-hand side, right? This is the left-hand side. And this is your right hand side. Okay, class. We have two sides, left hand side and right hand side. So, so going to start from right hand side. Listen. Right hand side. Okay, that is sign C. Okay, class. I think you know what's a C. There? C is here. This is your C. C is 180 minus A plus B. Okay, so I'm going to use these formulas. Okay, so sine, okay, we're going to use this formula class, this formula, this formula. Okay, we're going to use this formula. Get ready for this, using this formula. Okay, this formula. Okay, please assume that this is your A and this is your B. This whole bracket is your B. Okay, so we're going to solve it. It's going to be sine A is 180. Uh, cos A plus B minus cos 180 sine A plus B. Okay? Now, if you press your calculator for sine 180, okay, sine 180 going to be 0. Okay, sine 180 going to be 0 with cos A plus B. Okay, minus. And you press cos 180 going to be negative 1 with sine A plus B. Right? Okay, now, whatever multiply here, whatever multiply with 0, it's going to be 0, right? Going to be 0, right? So gone, nah, this whole thing is gone. So here it will be negative, negative, going to be positive 1. So end up with sine A plus B is proven. Okay, is proven. Okay, hope that you understand. Huh? So I'm going to go for the question B. Plus, this is your question B. Get ready. Okay, again, the same idea I'm going to use here is a, a. This is a B. And this is a C where the angle of C will be 180 minus A plus B. Okay. So I'm going to use right hand side again. That is cos C over 2, right? Okay, cos. Okay, C will be 180 minus A plus B. over 2, right? So now we have cos, cos 180 divided by 2 going to be 90 minus, this one I'm going to put as A plus B over 2. So I'm going to use the formula now. Okay, this is my formula. K 
que plus assume this is your A, this whole thing is A, this one is going to be your B. So I'm going to substitute cos 90, then followed by cos A plus B over 2 plus, okay, because careful with the formula, if the formula here is minus, and you should use the plus inside here. Understand, huh? The formula is, is in a such a way, okay? So now it's a sine 90 followed by sine A plus B over 2. Okay. So now cos 90, cos 90 is 0. Sign 90, sign 90 is 1. Okay, so whatever multiply with 0 is going to be 0 here, this whole thing gone. Okay, the answer is going to be sign A plus B over 2. Proven. Okay, so this is a answer for your question B. Okay, done a class. Then we want to move on to the question C. Okay, look at the question C. It is again the formula is A, this is B and this is C. So the C is going to be 180 minus A plus B. Okay, okay class. I'm going to start with the, now I'm going to start with the right hand side, uh, sorry, left hand side. That is tangent C. Okay, tangent C, right? So what is tangent C? Tangent C is 180 minus A plus B. Okay, so we're going to use the formula. Okay, check the formula. Okay, so it's going to be tangent 180 minus tangent A plus B, right? A plus B over 1 plus, so 1 minus, uh, 1 going to plus, sorry, plus. Because once you're negative, once you're negative, this one will be negative, the bottom will be positive. Okay, careful, huh? Okay, 1 plus will be tangent 180, tangent A plus B. Okay? So can I give you the direct solution here? Okay, tangent 180 going to be zero. Okay, here also zero. Okay, easy for you to understand. Eh? So the tangent 180 will be zero. So, so that on top, you can see negative tangent A plus B. At the bottom, you're only going to see one because this whole thing, this whole thing, going to be zero, right? Because there is no, uh, because you're going to multiply with zero means gone, right? You're going to have only one. Okay, only one at bottom. So I think one also we no need to write, so we can erase this. So now I still going to expand this negative. So what is the formula of tangent A plus B? So it's tangent A plus tangent B over one minus is tangent A, tangent B, right? I'm going to take this negative, I'm going to multiply it down here. Okay, I'm going to take the negative, I'm going to multiply it down there, so I will end up with this. Is tangent A plus tangent B over, so when you multiply with negative, 
uh, this positive will be negative and this negative will be positive. So you have tangent A, tangent B, minus 1, proven. Okay, class. Have a nice day. Thank you.